So as you can see in front of me, I have the new Google Pixel 6 Pro. Now, Google did not send me an advanced copy of this. I am not a big time tech YouTuber. I'm more of like your average YouTuber. <laughs> your average YouTuber. I should get that on a shirt, name the channel that. Y-A-Y for short, call me Yay. <laughs> Welcome back to Yay, your average YouTuber, the channel where I review tech products. I'm gonna do that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I digress. Anyway, getting back to this, this is the new Pixel 6 Pro by Google. And I am extremely excited to have this in the studio simply because this is the first Android phone that I will be owning since, I think it's like the Note 3. It's been that long since I've owned an Android phone. I mean, I reviewed other Android phones, but I never kept those for a long period of time. And to be quite honest, I probably just bought those and held on to them for about like two weeks to a month to do a review and then return them. But now I will keep this phone in the studio. So I'll have Android and I'll have iOS finally in the studio to test out various headphones and stuff like that because it's a big thing for me that I wasn't able to use the Samsung Wear app or the Samsung Buds app. One of those Samsung apps that I needed for a couple of headphones and I just wasn't able to show that off. Um, but now I will be able to because I have this phone in here. The main reason why I went with this Pixel 6 Pro for a couple of reasons. Since Google owns Android, once updates or big updates come out to the Android operating system, the Google Pixel phones will be the first ones to get those. That might not be something that's important to you, but I don't know, that's just something that that will bother me if I didn't get the latest update when it was available for an Android phone. So that's why I went, the, went with this Pixel Pro. And then also, Google doesn't come out with multiple flagship phones every single year. They do the same thing like Apple, one main flagship phone. And so that's easier for me to keep up with than going with like a Samsung phone and worrying about if I got the latest Flip, the Fold, the S Ultra, whatever, or the Note. So I went and chose Google Pixel for those simple reasons. I wanna see some love, it's love day. I'm yeah, sure man. people love out here on the court. What's going on YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Glow TV. Well, we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Okay, so this Pixel Pro comes at three different price points and as always, I'll put the links in the description down below. But it starts out at $899 and that's for your 128 gig version, which I do have right here. And then it bumps up to $999, that has a 256 gig internal storage and then at 1099, you get 512 gigs of internal storage. And then also it comes in three colors. As you can see, I do have the stormy black here. You also have a cloudy white and then sort of sunny. The Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro, they both come with Android 12. I don't know the difference. I'm not a smartphone reviewer, I haven't been. Maybe I might get into more of that, but they both come with Android 12 and also IP68 water and dust resistant. And now also, this has the new Google Tensor chip in it. So now if you're not familiar with what the Google Tensor chip is, it's kind of like what Apple did, or it's just like what Apple did with their new M1 chip. They got away from Intel, or they're slowly getting away from Intel and just using their own processing chip. Now Google was doing the same thing. I do believe that in prior Pixel phones, Google was using, I think Qualcomm Snapdragon chip, but they have since, moved on to the new Google Tensor chip, and they said that it's 80% faster performance from their previous Google phones, and it also it's more efficient for battery life, so longer battery life with these. And I think that it's up to 24 hours or more than 24 hours of battery life on this phone right here. That's pretty much it for all the boring spec stuff, so let me go ahead and unbox this and let you know exactly how I feel about this phone. Listen, here you go, people. That is nice. That is a nice looking phone right here. This is your Stormy Black, like I said before. You have your two different colors. You have a darker gray down here and then a lighter gray up here. I really like that two-tone look. The camera area right here is pretty dope. It's different to me. I'm not sure if there are any other mobile devices out there that have a camera setup just like this one. I'm not a big cell phone reviewer, so if there is, go ahead and please check them in the comments. I mean, this thing feels nice and premium. Good weight to it. I don't know if this is a glass backing or not, but it feels nice in the hand. Let me go ahead and set that to the side very quickly. And then also in the box, you get your USB Type-C to USB Type-C charging cable. And I do believe that this USB Type-A to USB Type-C adapter right here is for transferring data from your old Pixel to your new one. I'm not sure if you can 
have your yeah, like to say you have a Google Pixel 5 if you move it close to this one and transfer the data like that like iPhone does I'm not sure if this is the same way but I know they provide an adapter so that you can um, transfer your information and also you do get some literature right here and then a sim card ejector tool and that's it that is everything inside of the box um, let me go ahead and get into this phone though go ahead and peel this off really quickly Ooh, that is nice. That is very, very nice. I like this premium feel. Very quick for a size comparison. This is my iPhone 13 Pro Max. Hold it up next to each other. You get uh, very similar in size. It looks like the iPhone might be a little bit wider. Um, the Pixel might be a little bit longer, but overall, I mean, they feel like this at the same weight. Doesn't feel too different in the hand. I might want to get a case put on this one because it is a very smooth and slippery surface. This darker one is not too much of a fingerprint magnet. I actually don't see fingerprints getting on this at all. I don't know if it's just because my hands are dry or what, but going around this phone on the back side, as you can see, you do have your camera set up right here. And from your left to your right, you have your 50 megapixel wide camera to your 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. And then you also have your 48 megapixel telephoto camera. You have your flash right here as well. So with this camera system right here, Google really went out of the way and put the extra effort in to make sure that the pictures on here accurately depict any skin tone, more preferably the darker skin tones. I guess cell phones don't accurately depict darker skin tones as well as they should. And so Google went out of their way to make sure that darker skin tones get accurately depicted when taking pictures with this phone. It's actually kind of sad that that's a topic of discussion, but I mean, hey, what you want to do now this phone right here has a 6.7 inch lpto oled display you have 120 hertz refresh rate on here as well and then also it has gorilla glass victus i do believe that is their latest technology when it comes to glass on mobile phones so it's supposed to be the strongest that they've ever came out with you also have your volume rocker on the right side of the phone right below the power button i was hoping that they would have on this phone is that on previous google phones you would notice that the volume rocker and the power button are different colors like uh, orange or pinkish color which would really stand out now if they would have put maybe like a, a white color on here or like a light gray color to make these stand out more that would have been pretty dope on the bottom side you do have your two speakers and you have your usb type c charging port there is no headphone jack in here it seems like once apple went away with their headphone jack everybody has gone away with the headphone jack and then also you have your 11 megapixel camera on the front side oh yeah and then also on the left side is where you have your sim card tray going around the outside of this phone is glossy black but then on the top side it's like a matte finish right here i don't know if that's for additional communication technology or whatever but just wanted to point that out and yeah so let me go ahead and power this on set this up and talk about the cameras and the screen very quickly this is just an unboxing and first impression so i'm not going to dive too deep into that okay so i finally finished setting this up i didn't really get too much in depth with the setup i just connected my google email to this adjusted some of the background some of the home screen displays and stuff like that and i really like the live wallpapers this is something that's new to me because i've been on ios for the longest time and i wasn't about to pay for any live wallpapers on ios but they just come standard on um, this Google Pixel. I know Android fans out there, you're probably like, hey, you're late to the party, blah, blah, blah. I get that. Okay, so as you can see right here, I'm on camera. This is inside the app. And like I said before, you do have a 50 megapixel wide camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 48 megapixel telephoto camera. You have your 0.7 times zoom, you have your one time zoom, you have your two times zoom, and you have your four times zoom. So let me go ahead and take some pictures to see how this actually looks. I'm not adjusting anything, just taking pictures straight out of here. So here's your 0.7 times zoom, here's your one time zoom, two times zoom, and your four times zoom. Looks a little bit too saturated for me. I don't know if it's just because I'm taking a picture of a screen or if that's just how it is. So that is your rear facing camera right there. You also have your 11 megapixel front facing camera, as you can see right here. Um, preset, you have a 0.7 times zoom and a one time zoom. So here's your one time zoom front facing. Let me go and take a picture. 
The front facing camera is an 11 megapixel camera. Looks really good right there. Okay, so as you can see right here, when you're taking video on this phone, you can swipe down from the top to get to the settings or you can click the setting icon at the top. And the rear facing camera is capable of doing 4K at 60 and 30 and then also a full HD 1080p at uh, it says auto 30 and 60 so the auto will switch between 30 and 60 whatever settings um, it requires at the time okay so this is your rear facing camera taking 4k video at 60 frames per second um, I guess it's pretty good I don't know I will have to go back and review this I can do this during the video or just do this in post but either way right now we're filming at 4k 60 frames per second okay so now I am filming with the rear camera still shooting in 1080p at 60 frames per second. Like I said before, you're able to shoot in 60 frames per second at 1080p and also at 30 frames per second at 1080p. And as you can see right here, I don't know, I hope, hope my screen is still recording, but the front facing camera, you're still able to record at either a 1080 at 30 60 or automatic for the front facing camera. But then if you switch over to the 4K resolution, you, I don't know what frames per second it's at. It just shows 4K, it doesn't give you any options. So as you can see right here, I am right now filming on the front facing camera. This is 1080p, I think it's at 30 frames per second if I'm not mistaken, but this is how it would look when you are filming on the front facing camera, 1080p. And now this is the front facing camera at 4K. You aren't able to adjust the frames per second, so I don't know exactly what it's locked on, but this is the front facing camera filming 4K. And so yeah, people, um, that is my very quick unboxing and first impressions review of this Google Pixel 6 Pro in the stormy black color. I love the initial impressions of this phone, the two-tone look, the screen, how it wraps around, it goes around the edge a little bit. You have your 120 hertz display, and you have your unique camera setup on the backside. Like I said before, you have a 50 megapixel, a 48 megapixel, and a 12 megapixel camera on the backside. You have your 11 megapixel camera on the front side. Both the front and rear, you're able to record either in 1080p or 4K and able to adjust that between 30 frames and 60 frames per second. I also love the fact that I do have a uh, fingerprint reader now and the screen so if I click on that it opens just like that I don't care about the speed it's there it's available I can use that so off of first glance I do love that the live wallpapers the overall feel the look the build the design everything about this phone to me is super super dope yeah people that's all I got for you right now as always if this is your first time here you found any value in this video whatsoever go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below and don't forget hit that bell icon so you get notifications on when I drop my next tech video. As always, thanks for stopping by the Tech Love channel. My name is Nicholas, and I'm out. Peace.